scary moments cut short efforts to find a missing boy in the Great Miami River. WWT News 5's Christy Davis leading the way now with what crews plan to do later on this morning. Christy. Well, Todd, crews, of course, vowing to continue their search for the eight year old boy, but they did have a pretty difficult day yesterday. In fact, one of the boats capsized in the water during the search. That was a fan boat from Fairfield that was carrying four crew members aiding in the search for Brian Alasco Morales. Everyone in the boat was fine, but all of the gear fell into the water and some of it still has to be recovered. Authorities tell us the eight year old fell into the river near where Whitewater and Great Miami. Join. It was during a Labor Day fishing trip with his family. Recovery attempts were made even more difficult by storms passing through those delayed morning search efforts. At one point in the search, cadaver dogs and sonar equipment did hit on something about 30 yards from where the boy fell in, but the search finally had to be called off because of nightfall and dangerous conditions. Now, rescue crews are hoping that as the fog lifts and the sun comes up, they'll be able to get out on the water as soon as possible. This has been devastating for this child's family. They're hoping to bring them some closure at some point today. Reporting live, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5.